Hey guys, welcome to Read and Robin's Read Solos, and today we're playing the Stanley, Stanley, the Stanley Parable Demonstration. Let's begin on our journey to discovery, to power, to everything we need to know about this ridiculous game. And how slow it's loading. Or why is it loading so slow? There we go. Load faster. Take your time, don't worry baby, it's fine. Just you keep going. It's zero miles now. The standing powerboard demonstration. Ah, oh, this is nice. Ah, oh, the music's nice. Welcome to the Stanley Parable Demonstration. Your number is 28. When your number is displayed, Shall I go or shall I wait? Let's wait. Let's go. Look at that video game. Splinter Cell. Is that... Is that Half-Life? <laughs> wow, that looks amazing. Okay. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Stanley Parable Live Demonstration. It will be my pleasure to guide you through this sneak peek at what to expect in the Stanley Parable. The tease. Just to not leave you hungry for more. How exciting. Can't you just feel that nervous tension? The looming uncertainty? Why don't we drink in the anticipation for a moment? Just for 20 minutes or so. <laughs> Please, for just 20 minutes, don't move or act in any way. Okay. Simply remain motionless and let the thrill of demoing the Stanley Parable wash over you. Oh, I get it. You're oh. too anxious. You can barely hold still. Well, tell you what. Have I right. think we should walk off that nervous energy before yes. getting the demo underway. Here, why don't I take you on a little tour of the facility? and show you how we make a demonstration for a game like the Stanley Parable. This is where I and the other proctors have been working meticulously to construct a demo that explains clearly and concisely exactly what the Stanley Parable is, how it plays, and why you should spend real-world money on the main game. Video game demonstrations are tricky, and without the proper technology, you I have been risk the player having no idea there. what to expect in the full version. Ah. Here is one such technology. These buttons are meant to convey the meaning of choice and the impact of the decisions you make. After all, choices carry hey, tremendous like meaning and consequence. Didn't you know that? No. Go ahead. Why don't you try picking one of these buttons to press and we'll see what your choice says about you. How fascinating. Did you know that 94% of all people who select that particular button are sexual predators? No, no. You I see, our choices really do illuminate the very intangible nature of our minds and souls. Pervert. <laughs> Pervert. <laughs> okay, what else can I show you then? This place is the buffalo of game design. Nothing is wasted. Now, I think you'll find this exciting. We've actually developed a wall that you can walk through. Go ahead. Give it a shot. Oh. Hmm. Guess it's still in the <laughs> Okay, moving along. <laughs> How's the anticipation? Still feeling it? Yes. Definitely. This device tells you whether or not you're inside a video game demonstration. Somewhere around here, there's also a device that tells you whether or not you're inside a device that tells you whether or not you're inside a video game demonstration. <coughs> no danger. No danger. Nothing in this room will kill you. <laughs> Let's see. 
amazing. Compliment. Okay. One of the most important parts of administering any demonstration is pumping up your ego and appealing to insecurities about your sense of self-worth. That's why we use this room to develop cheap compliments to shower on the player during the demo. Go ahead and press that button to see some of the superficial flattery we've been cooking up. My heavens, I've never met someone who can consume as much uranium in a single sitting as you can. Just look at you go. Thank you. Of all the people I know who are playing this exact demo at this exact moment and standing in this exact room, your performance is easily in the top 5,000. <laughs> top 4,700 even. I won't go as far as 4,600. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is embarrassing. I really can't think of anything else to say. Uh, no, no, you've really exhausted my list of compliments. Goodness. That was fast. Either you or this department has a lot of room for improvement. Okay then, what's next? <laughs> I'm going with me. I need improvement. Right. Emotion. Now here's what we use to convey story. These booths convert text from a story into raw emotion. Go ahead, step into one of them and feel the sheer power of narrative exposition. <laughs> It was noble, and within the shame he carried that ocean breeze did drift. The fierceness of the tides, the inevitable collapse of their kingdoms, washed ashore, the wreck of shame, martyrs devoid of the cause, ripping and tearing at the eternal seams. A vessel without a captain carried itself like plastic in the wind, hinting at a purpose that was truer in some distant memory, if only it could decipher through time's veneer whose memory it wanted to be. Where did these girls go? This That's death. <laughs> oh, you went in both booths? Yes. Oh, how vulnerable of you. If at any point during the demo you need to cry, just let me know and we can take a minute. Now, now, we have to save at least a few emotions for the full game. Out of order. That's probably because you can't get there. This game's cool. <laughs> One of the best demos by far. Ah, now this room is perhaps the most important you'll encounter in the demo. This is where we determine whether or not the demo has been effective. No! What are you doing? You can't make that decision yet. You haven't played the demo. We've put so much work into this demonstration. Wouldn't it be a shame if you rushed right into making a purchasing decision without sick? And there you have it. Everything you need to know about how video game demos are made. However, it's still important that we address safety concerns. Please closely observe the following possible negative side effects of playing the Stanley Parable. If you agree to be held 100% responsible for any and all injury or long-term damage, mental, physical or otherwise, that may occur while playing the demo, <laughs> please do not press the large red glowing disagree button at this time. <laughs> Nothing? No objections? No, we're quite sure about that. <laughs> well, all right then. In the event that you do experience one or all of the previously listed symptoms, let's establish a signal for you to convey to me that you wish the demonstration to be terminated. Please step into the dance perimeter. Please perform a dance. <laughs> In the event that you feel confused or disoriented by anything you see inside the demo, perform that dance and I will terminate the demo immediately. Right. All preparations have been made. It is time at last. Are you prepared for the Stanley Wrong first. <laughs> okay, here we go. 
the Stanley Parable Demo Take 2. Finding the demo, learning exactly what the Stanley Parable is. Stanley Parable not a game about continuously pressing the number eight. 8, I can guarantee that this button does eight. not appear anywhere in the main game. Why is it here instead of the demo for the Stanley Parable? Where did the demo go? There was an actual demo here before. Something eight. has gone wrong. It's all gone horribly wrong. We eight. need to get you out of here before you start forming impressions of the Stanley Parable based on whatever the hell this 8 game is. We need to get out. We need to start over. You mustn't stay here another minute. Out! Imagine if this had been the demo, what would you have been thinking? You would have left with no idea what the Stanley Parable is about, none whatsoever. Welcome to the yes, Stanley Parable. Yes, 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 we had it all the first time. Okay, now let's take a minute to get something straight here. When you sit down to play this demo, you are assuming an amount of responsibility for its outcome. Now, I can't say for certain whether you caused us to encounter the 8th game rather than the Stanley Parable, but I think it's a pretty safe assumption that you had something to do with it. <laughs> At this time, please take a minute to think about all of the mistakes you made in playing this demonstration, as well as your lack of respect for demo taking in general. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. I could really feel the introspection on my end. Now that we're all on the same page again, I feel ready to attempt the demonstration once more. In this third attempt, we shall truly come to understand the meaning of the Stanley Parable. Let the demonstration begin. begin. why the Stanley Parable is a quality experience worth your time and money. It was here somewhere, I'm sure of it. Oh, no, 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 no. We have to get out of here. We have to find something for you to do, anything. The demo cannot end like this. Ah, uh, hurry, hurry, this way. Okay, yes, this is new. This is different. Surely there must be a game somewhere in here. Okay, okay. Oh, how about this cup? Yes, go pick up the cup, all right? Now put it, um, um, in the bin. You did it! You won! Yes! You know what you get for winning? An achievement. Wow, the Stanley Parable just keeps getting better and better. <laughs> Let me take a little survey of your experience. Based on what you've played so far, would you purchase the Stanley Parable? No. Splendid. We play clear and straightforward demonstration of the merits of the Stanley Parable. I am convinced of the quality of the full game. Incredible. You really do get it. You understand. Oh, I'm so worried. I just wanted you to know what I see in the Stanley Parable. What I think makes it, well, special. It's so very difficult to put into words. Oh, we're all beyond that now, aren't we? <laughs> Come along. Let's get to the end of the final choice. Ending, ending, where are you? Where are you? Is this it? Yes, the end. Now, this is where we want the demo to go. And I think it's time for you to log your final decision as to whether or not the Stanley Parable is any good. And it all comes to this. Please consider very carefully before answering. Much. Is, is it working? I, are you sure? Are you sure you press the button? What? No, we finished the demo. Did it start again? Hello? Is anyone there? They already finished. They said they liked it. 
I need someone to stop the demo. Hello. <laughs> we need to go back. We need to get out of here. <laughs> oh no, what's going on? Where is everyone? Okay, over to the left, down this way. It says Ben Croft. Oh, nice and quiet. <laughs> Finally. Well, I suppose we can both agree that I failed, didn't I? Yeah. My job was to be a teacher. Yeah. I so badly wanted to teach you exactly what the Stanley Parable is supposed to be, but somehow I couldn't. Yeah. Well, at any rate, I don't know if I care for the Stanley Parable anymore. Oh, this is actually a long game. Oh. Honestly, I doubt it. What would that even look like? No, I think I've had enough of it. No more doors, no more demonstrations, <laughs> no more endings. That's the other problem with this game, there's too many bloody endings. <laughs> I'm sick of them. How can one game end so many times? It doesn't make sense. Oh, but back at the beginning of the demonstration, oh, that was lovely. No concerns about where it was all going. No confusion, just a blank slate. Yes, yeah, that's what I want. A game of beginnings. Hey, <laughs> do you remember, just a few minutes ago, when we met for the first time, and I showed you the technology used to make the demo, because I thought there actually was a demo. <laughs> oh, we were so naive back then. How little we knew of the world. And then, when we ended up back in the waiting room, even though you've already done that before? Yes. It's all so fresh in my memory. There were such wonderful moments. Oh, and then when we played the game with the cup and you won, and then we kept wandering and we ended up in a stairwell somewhere, and we just kept climbing and climbing, flight after flight after flight. I thought they would never end. And then we were on some kind of catwalk. I didn't have any idea what was down there. Did you? And we just kept going, and we found that elevator, and it said escape on it. What? We talked about it for a while, about how we couldn't possibly know whether this was really an escape. But, but it seemed worth the try, and at the very least it would be an adventure. So we got inside, and we rode the elevator up and up and up. We had some sense that the end was coming, but we couldn't possibly know when. And then after so long, it finally stopped, and we stepped out into the lush outdoors. The trees, the wildlife, the sun rising on a new and glorious path. Freedom. We were free. I don't remember any of this. Yeah. There was nothing to think, nothing to know. Simply us being right there in that moment. Wasn't it so beautiful? Uh. Wasn't that moment so singularly, piercingly beautiful? We were free. Free! Alright, this is outside. guys I guess that was Stanley Parable demonstration. Hope you enjoyed it. Um yeah. <laughs> Bye.